finance, as past block instruction, we have covered many interest rates with compound and simple. And simple. But this morning, we're going to concentrate on simple interest and the calculation. Before I begin, though, I'd like to share with you the daily verse. The daily verse, the rich rule of the poor, and the borrower is servant to the leader. Proverbs 22, 7. It says a lot about our lifestyle. Again, the rich over the poor, and the borrower is servant. We'll cover that later in discovery. Let's go on with the pre-assessment. If you would take out your pure evaluations, flip it over. As you flip it over, we'll take a, a pre-assessment to know where we stand today and what we comprehend previously. If you would, please, let's look at simple interest. What I've done is I've researched the most prevalent car, being a Volvo XC90, is the best maintenance-free, low-cost, used car for someone to purchase. A car is the second largest purchase you'll make in your lifetime. The first one being at home, second being a car. However, if you're not a prudent consumer, many times you'll spend more in your automobiles during a lifetime than you will your home. So let's begin by understanding how you're going to finance the automobile by using simple interest. Principal times rate times time. The automobile costs $5,981. We're going to finance it at 6% and pay it off in 36 months. I'll give you 45 seconds and we'll work with the outcome. Begin. Once you're complete, just raise your hand. Are you looking for it just to calculate the total cost or how much interest? The interest charge. Yes. How much interest on an automobile that's purchased for $5,981 financed at 6%? Everyone good? All right. Yes, ma'am. May I ask you, Allison, what was your outcome? Well, do you want what that calculation gave you? Yes, ma'am. Oh. The interest charge. $12,918.95. On interest, correct? Yes. Okay. Everyone agree? Everyone agree? Okay. Everyone agree. $12,000. Now, think about that. $12,000 in interest on a $5,981 automobile financed at 6%. Actually, the answer should be $1,076.58. Okay. Is anyone... Can anyone... Give me a reason as to why. One thousand. Yes, ma'am, Rebecca. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. Hold that thought and we'll get to it. What we're going to do address this morning also the essential questions. What is simple interest? We'll once again cover. Who uses simple interest? Why is it beneficial to a borrower? We. And why is it important to make a down payment? What is simple interest? I'll start with when money is borrowed for a car, that's our description today, a car, the interest charged to use that money for a period of time, that's simple interest. The cost of that interest depends on the principal amount, that's the baseline cost of the automobile, the rate of interest, which we just used 6%, and the time, which was 36 months. So the basic formula is P times R times T. Here's where personnel had a challenge. Time is always in years. So if it's one year, two years, three years. 36 months would be how long? Three years. So we'll get to that. Okay? Who uses simple interest? Installment companies and short-term personal loans. Installment companies would include banks, lending institutions, and credit unions. Personal loans would include mom and dad. Mom and dad and stay away from pawn shops and also other, other scrupulous lending institutions. They charge simple interest, but it's at a high rate. Okay? Any questions on that? Again, that's installment companies and personal loans being mom and dad. Who benefits using simple interest? Well, you, the borrower, benefits in using simple interest as to compare to compound interest. If I may show, simple interest, as we have here, is the interest charge on the base amount. The good thing about using simple interest, it's calculated one time. 
That one time of simple interest, you're only paying it one time versus in compound interest, you're, about, you're paying it two and three times. So simple interest, one time that you're charged to use the money. Everyone, everyone understand? It's only one time charge. Okay, why is it, sir? Can you help? Why is it important? Why is it important to have a large down payment? Very simple. The principal amount needed to borrow the vehicle, once it's lower, you borrow less money. So you have less. What? Finance charge, correct? Does everyone understand? If I have a lower principal amount, I have less finance charge for the vehicle price. Okay? The smaller the principal, the lower the amount of the payment. So if I have an automobile that costs ten thousand and I place two thousand, I'm only financing eight thousand versus ten thousand. So my payment's lower. Does everyone agree? Yes, we can. How much is a good down payment? A good down payment is 10%. 10% of the down payment. So if the vehicle costs $10,000, a down payment would be how much? Miss Rachel? 10% um, of 10,000. 10, there you go, perfect. So a down payment of $1,000 is very efficient. So once we go back to computing interest, simple interest, principal times rate times time. And Allison, it goes back to $1,000. Let's calculate this out together, $1,000 at 6% for six months. Remember, simple interest calculated in years. $1,000 at 6% for six months is how much? Okay, Alexander says 30. Alexander, can you share with us how you got that? Um, <clears throat> I took half of 1,000, which is 500, and multiplied by 0.06. That's, that's one way of doing it, that's correct. The second way of doing it, Good, good for you, Alexander. It's taking thousand dollars at six percent, six percent interest times 0.5, which is what half a year. He does the same thing in calculation. Okay, a lot of people do not realize how this is calculated because it's always on an automation tool in your in the computer or handheld calculator. So now we're what we're discovering is how is this accumulated? How is it calculated for my benefit? Am I going to get basically robbed or not? Okay. Let's practice. If you would, take your cards out, show me your cards. Your card should have four or seven. Okay, everyone has a four or a seven. The percentage of interest rate you're using for the seven percent, you'll practice with Jack's purchase. If you're using at four percent, you'll practice with Jill's purchase. So for the next minute, let's quickly assimilate. How much that vehicle would cost? And this is the interest. This is interest. How much is the interest rate going to be on the purchase of the vehicle? We have 30 seconds remaining. Okay. If you would, someone raise up a seven. Show me a seven. Okay. <coughs> I've already picked on you. Rebecca, can you can you give me your amount for a seven percent? This is $5,000 vehicle. This is, for instance, $5,000 financed at 7% for three years. $1,050. That's correct, Rebecca. Good job. Now, who's got a four? Okay. Can, you, can I ask you, please? Let's take five thousand dollars times 0.04 times three years. Five thousand times 0.04 times three years. No man, there's no. That's fine. May I have another one? Someone else step in and assist. Go ahead, Alexander. That's six hundred dollars. So <laughs> seven percent cost how much in, in interest charge? One thousand fifty. 
$1,050. 4% in interest charge for cost how much? Six what? What's the difference? So what I want to point out is 3% difference cost $450 difference. Is everyone with me? Okay, you see the difference? Interest rate, a bartering interest rate, can lower your payment. That's based on your credit rating. Okay? Let's have one more practice. Uh, Jerry has $1,500 in the account. He's going to purchase a $7,000 automobile at 4% annually. This comes to 36 months. For the next 30 seconds, tell me how much this is going to be an interest charge. Six sixty, and the answer is six sixty. Very easy calculation, but you had to read into the problem. The reason I chose this problem was it was using a down payment. So a seven thousand dollar automobile paying five thousand down would be fifty five hundred dollars that the individual has to finance. Fifty five hundred dollars at four percent interest, which is a good interest, three years, thirty six months, would be six hundred and sixty dollars in interest charge. Any questions? One more. Selena purchased a car for $6,500. Her interest rate is 6% annually. How much is her monthly car payment for 24 months? Let's give it, I'll give you one minute to figure this out. Selena has a $6,500 car. She's going to 6% interest rate, finance it for her. How much is her car payment for 24 months? <coughs> Everyone complete. Everyone's complete. Good. All right. What was the answer? I'm just asking. Go ahead, James. Seven hundred and eighty dollars okay. per month. Oh, what's our car payment? Seven hundred eighty dollars should be her finance charge. Right. So, how much is her car payment per month for twenty-four months? Her monthly car payment, financing the car for 24 months. Um, it would be that number that's up on the screen. Right? Correct. <laughs> Correct. That's $303 per month. How much time I got, sir? Okay, $303 per month. Let's go over this, because this is actually a financial issue that everyone will encounter. The car costs $6,500, 6% interest rate, and you want to get it paid off in two months. So your interest charge is $780. The interest charge must be added back to the principal purchase of the car. So $6,500 and $780 comes to $7,280. Take that principal amount, divide it by 24. That will give your monthly payment to $303.33. Is everyone with me? Okay. This is actually, this will happen no matter when you purchase a vehicle from whom. Five years is a normal, that's 60 months. So when someone says 60 months financing, you'll know that's five years. 36 months, three years. This is an actual problem that you will encounter when you buy your first vehicle. Does everyone here have a vehicle? Did you finance your own vehicle? Mom and dad did. <laughs> Personal loan. Okay. So we're going to go on. I want to do some check on learning. Three simple questions to check on learning. First, true or false? Simple interest is commonly used for installment loans such as vehicles. True or false? True. Consensus? True. That is true. Simple interest is better for the lender. False. It's better for who? You, the borrower. And 10% down payment is the best down payment you have. Minimum. True. Okay. Thank you so much for your attendance. I wish you the happy purchase. And now you know how to calculate simple interest. You're pretty good. <laughs> I, 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 thank you so much.
Rachel, if you can see your face, you're like, <laughs> thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. Does everybody have one of these one? Thank you. I'm so sorry. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's good. Okay. 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 Do you have one in the house? I don't know if you want yeah. to go on here. That's fine. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay, how can I, you just take over my seat? Please. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Did you buy your own car? Yes. Doug, good for you. Did you use this? I did. No, I have never supposed to have a car here. That's true. It's a Dave Ramsey way, right? Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey way. Dave Ramsey. Yeah, it's true. And I wish that was so true. Like, <laughs> Dave Ramsey's theory is great. His theory is great. Yeah. 